You know what? Somebody just pointed out something that struck a chord with me. Could this coronavirus, uh, whether it's real or whether it's a fake thing, I don't know. But they were telling people, ditch cash because of the spread of the coronavirus. You know, they got this Bitcoin and all these other cryptocurrencies. You know, people have got their ATM cards and their credit cards. And the Bible does record that, uh, you know, 666 is coming. You can't buy or sell without it. I wonder if this coronavirus is going to be one of the ways that they're going to try to get rid of cash. I mean, I don't know. It would make perfect sense, wouldn't it? Uh, <laughs> you know, they've been working on this a long, long time. And I've had people say, oh, no, it's, it's not going to be a microchip, which, uh, but consider this. The U.S. passport has a microchip. My driver's license for the state has a microchip. My bank ATM card has a microchip. My credit card has a microchip. Suppose they merged the state and the banks into one, since they're the same people anyways, and put that same chip reader into the hand or in the forehead. It would make sense, right? you got to realize Satan's been planning this stuff for, I don't know, thousands of years. I mean, can you imagine the plan that he's going to come up with? So, I don't know. It's a good way to get rid of cash. Well, you know, we can't have people passing around disease-laden cash from person to person. we got to have something that's more sanitary and safe. After all, we got to do it to, to protect the children that we're aborting, right? Yeah. And we got to stick them with uh, vaccinations. The Israelis, I heard, are working on a vaccination for this coronavirus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, just something to think about, people. All right. Uh, all glory to... God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus. Amen.